Hello everyone. Welcome to the very first episode of my SQL MariaDB and SQL Complete workshop. My name is Ashwin and I am going to teach you in this entire workshop the basics of SQL and this is a very comprehensive and detailed course where you are going to start from zero and then you are going to become a hero by the end of the course. So if you are not aware of SQL or if you have never programmed with SQL, this is the course that you should take very first in order to make yourself comfortable and acquainted with SQL. So primarily we are going to use the MySQL database in the beginning, but I am also going to cover MariaDB installation on Windows and Raspberry Pi platform, but mostly we will be using MySQL because MySQL is free to use uh, database. It's a relational database. Similarly, MariaDB is also a cousin of MySQL or I would say a sister database because my and Maria, these are the names of the chief programmer who has started both the projects. Uh, basically, MySQL was earlier an open source project, but later I guess Oracle took over it and they had actually some disagreement on how to take that project forward. That is why they started the MariaDB project. So my is the name of one of the daughters of that person and Maria is the name of the other daughter of that person. So this makes MySQL and MariaDB sister databases and they are actually kind of sister or siblings because the queries that we run on MySQL can be executed on MariaDB. We can actually have the same table structures or same sort of objects in MariaDB. So many people have migrated from MySQL to MariaDB and people also migrate from MariaDB to MySQL. And if you know MySQL, uh, from the application programming perspective, it means that you are comfortable with MariaDB. So primarily, as I told you, I will use MySQL with MySQL Workbench, but I'm also going to introduce you to some other tools like uh, Oracle SQL Developer and Heidi SQL. So the Heidi SQL comes with MariaDB when we install it. Now let us have a look at the prerequisites. You should be comfortable with the database concepts. In case you are not comfortable with the database concepts, then I would recommend you to go ahead and Make yourself comfortable or acquainted with database concepts by reading some book from the syllabus of database management system. And the final thing that you should be aware of is Python programming. You should know Python programming a little bit, not in a lot of depth. I mean, if, if you know it in uh, a lot of depth or you are an expert in Python programming, that is welcome. But the prerequisite is that you should know a little bit of it because in the end, I am also going to tell you how to connect to MySQL or MariaDB using Python and we are going to manipulate the objects in database programmatically. So that is how we can work with Python programming and MySQL and MariaDB. So the contents of the course are, uh, you can actually check all those contents in the description section down below where I am uh, mentioning all the timestamps and the name of that particular part. So this is going to be a very, very detailed uh, course. It's a complete workshop and it is kind of masterclass. You are going to start from the absolute scratch and then you are going to make yourself uh, a hero in this. Okay, so from zero to hero. And by the end of this course, you will be very, very comfortable with writing your own queries for creating the objects in MySQL and MariaDB and then manipulating the data in those databases, tables and a lot of things you are going to understand joins you are going to understand ddl dml and dcl queries and everything okay so in case you want to check the contents of the course you can just check the description where i have mentioned the timestamp as well as uh, i have mentioned the name of that topic you can directly uh, browse through the entire course by uh, clicking on those timestamps and youtube is going to take you to that part directly okay so that is known as sections in the videos and i have actually divided this course in small sections so this is all about MySQL and MariaDB introduction. So in case you want to access all the queries that I am teaching in this course, you can again check the description section of this course down below, where I have mentioned the URL of the GitHub repository where I have already uploaded all the queries and all the Python code and everything. Okay, so all the images and all the uh, Python programs, all the SQL queries, they are saved there. SQL queries are stored in PDF files for uh, all of your convenience so that you can directly copy and paste those SQL queries on your setup of MySQL or MariaDB and execute it. So this is all about uh, the information section of this course and armed with all this useful information, let us begin.